Health and public assistance, Mr. Links. Thank you, Mayor. To date, the Madison Health Department has vaccinated over 5,700 people for the H1N1 flu, otherwise known as the swine flu, and most of that has been children. Um, I had a, uh, my first uh, board meeting last, last week, and um, incredible response and a great job done by the Board of Health. The health department has held uh, eight clinics since the last council meeting, and they have uh, resulted in an additional 1,000 vaccinations. The large-scale vaccination clinics have been suspended due to the waning uh, demand for the vaccine. Uh, weekly small-scale clinics continue at the Civic Center. The health department has plenty of H1N1 swine flu vaccination, both in nasal and interjectable. Uh, all residents throughout Madison are uh, asked to please give a call to 973-593-3074 for more details or go to www.rosenet.org. Um, H1N1 flu vaccinations are highly recommended by the Board of Health, and if you really have been reading lately in the newspaper, uh, there's been a, quite a large number of deaths nationally, so now's your time to get it if you really haven't done anything before, especially in my age group. Thank you, Mayor. And that would be the young, 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 young people. Young age be. group. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, under communications and petitions, I would like to note that any um, letters that are sent to the borough that are anonymous, while they're, they're read and considered, they're not taken seriously. If you want to petition the borough or communicate with the borough <coughs> on any matter, um, you will need to address with your name, name and address so you can follow up. Um, are there any other communications petitions received? No, Mayor, none received. Thank you. At this time, I'll open the meeting uh, to the public for an opportunity to ask questions and make comments on any discussion items on the work agenda or uh, anything being considered as a resolution. Um, there'll be another invitation later on in the meeting for anyone to discuss anything they'd like to. If there is, was anyone who would like to come forward at this time to talk about anything on the work agenda or resolutions, would you step to the lectern and please print your name and address so we can read it and state your name audibly for the recording. Is there anyone wishing to discuss any item on the agenda? Mr. Morris. Hi, my name is John Morris. I'm the president of the Madison Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I reside at 27 Bedford Court. Uh, I'm here with a lot of other people to support the redevelopment of Lincoln Place. Uh, it's a matter that's been discussed for quite some time uh, through three main ways that I know of. Uh, one is through Jim Burnett and his efforts to spread the word uh, by email and in person. It's been discussed at the Chamber Board meetings uh, numerous occasions. And perhaps the main thing is the workshop that was held last year. Uh, it was not only a workshop inside, it was uh, three groups of people out in the street, literally looking at the crumbling curbs, looking at the bad sidewalks, looking at what the problem is face to face. It was a whole cross section of residents, uh, employees of the borough, residents, people with businesses in town, people who pay taxes. And from what I can gather from that session is that everybody supports taking the next step and working on a Lincoln Place plan and getting it done as soon as possible. No rush, but it's, it's something that I think is very critical to our downtown. And I know that everybody else in the chamber feels that way too. Uh, if we get that done, it will link in with Waverly Place, it'll link into the Civic Center, uh, I think it'll do good things for all of us, not just businesses. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else wishing to be heard on any matter? Seeing none, we'll move on to the first uh, agenda discussion, the amend the fire department fee schedule. I can take that. The uh, fee schedule was last amended in 1992, and this is for uh, annual inspections of commercial, <coughs> industrial, educational, non-residential properties <coughs> by the fire department. What's proposed is an adjustment to the fee schedule to reflect the fact they haven't been adjusted since 1992. And the fire chief is here if there's any specific questions regarding the fee schedule as proposed. Any questions from the council? Go ahead, Mr. Cercio. Um, what I got here is that they want to increase it to $65 an hour. Uh, that's another one that we can talk about. This is a different one. This is basically based on square footage of the establishment that's involved. 
there is another item on the agenda about for a fire official at assemblies that we can talk about. Mrs. Dillon. Yeah, thank you. Do these um, numbers compare favorably to other towns? Yes, we, we are significantly under the towns surrounding us, even with the increase. Okay, thanks. Anyone else? Seeing none, this will be listed for introduction as an ordinance. Uh, electric utility rate increase. I think Mr. Califoot, you'd like to come forward and talk about this. <laughs> Mayor, what I'd like to do is <clears throat> to summarize uh, communications that I've had with the council and uh, uh, discussions over the last three months. I'd just like to go chronologically. October 29th, I had written to the uh, Mayor and Council regarding the 2009 electric utility results for the first nine months as well as the full year estimate for 2009. And essentially what I reported, um, I looked at six different schedules. And we looked at the cash receipts, 2007 versus 2008, the cash receipts for 2008 versus 2009. The the purchases in kilowatt hours, 2008 versus 2007, 2008 versus 2009, um, as well as the purchase power costs. And it was uh, obviously quite revealing. As, we, as uh, you all know, the, the cost of purchase power increased 97 percent from 2007 to 2008, which was the end of the public service electric and gas contract in 2007 transitioning into the Detroit Edison purchase power contract. Um, also, as part of those six schedules, we also could see that the consumption in 2007 versus 2008 in terms of purchases of kilowatt hours was identical at 144 million kilowatt hours per year. And then beginning in June of 2009, the consumption just fell off completely uh, was down almost 20% in June, 19% in July, and another 12% in September. Uh, <clears throat> the purpose of that memorandum was to discuss uh, how the surplus is being reduced significantly, and also at that point in time, I recommended a 6% rate increase. 